online fellowship with Pastor Sunday, and we talk about self-education today. So when a person says that when I So the person that is depressed, he is irritated, and any initiative he may have instead of him disappears. So he loses so many energy, and when he thinks that he can do something that he really wants to do, there is no chance to a person that says that he will do anything that when he believes in his strength so God gives him his grace and he knows that there are no obstacles on his way and every way becomes clear for him and, and he knows that he will find his way anyway and he knows that he will find his way anyway he will solve every problem every question. So the help comes from God when a person believes he can do that. And different sources start to appear in his way. There is no society. If our society believes that there is nothing we can do in our country, we will just go abroad in different countries like Italy. So when I was in Italy, I was shocked because I'm from Ukraine. So I saw my people everywhere and they all work there and they see so when I see Ukrainians working abroad they allow so bad things happen to them they work hard but they live so so much more badly so they have a thousand of euros as their salary. So from this money you have to pay for your food, for the rent of the apartment where you live. So, but they still say that in Ukraine there are worse conditions. So their philosophy is that we cannot do anything in our country. That we have so bad conditions. So they are ready to go to go abroad and have even worse conditions for their work and living, but they will still not believe they can do something and believe in themselves that they can change something in their countries. They have no faith they can be successful in Ukraine. So, some people don't believe that they can earn even more in Ukraine. That. 
they have their faith. It's a fundamental question when I say about when the power of self-education changes a lot in your life. So, these questions are fundamental. Questions about your self-education, which defines the whole society. So we want to understand why are we irritated by our society and our countries just because our views and our understanding of this life are limited. And we, we believe there is no way so we cannot do anything. And when we cannot do anything, it's irritation, it's offense, so our relationships, they become worse because on the level of philosophy, we just leave no other ways for ourselves to develop so we need, we need to offer something new to our society. We need to change and reform it. Thanks to self-education, thanks to the diploma we buy anyway without any work and any... Thanks to the diploma we buy, even if we don't, don't know anything and when... So imagine a physician, a doctor who got his diploma and he doesn't know anything. That's what I'm talking about. So imagine a dentist that doesn't know. That's why was, we need to start to, to give some alternative to people. So study the best, work hard, do everything you can, and then we'll see what you can do. You will do your best. Everything will... If you work hard, if you're self-educated, and you permanently involved in self-education, then everything will, will go your way. Once in my office, I was searching for an assistant. So I give work to people. They work for salary, and they work, and I can understand. Well, I give them job for Monday, at the beginning of the day. So I thought that at two they will end and finish this work. So until I go home, nothing is finished. And they say, oh, we had so many calls. And so the second day, the work that I expected to be done in two hours is done only at the end of the week. So the first system, the second, the third, the fourth, and they had salary for this. And once one lady, she was studying in Holland or in America, she came back, she went to church, and she said, well, I want to do something for God. And I can't be in a service at church, but I want to do something, I want to help somehow. So she was offered to help me in my office two times a week, two days a week. And I give her a job, and I think so. She will probably finish it in one month. I thought that she will do it in one month. So in two hours she comes and she did everything I asked her to do. Well, I was shocked, and I just see. So, and this girl... What my people did for, for during a month, so she came only two times a week, two days a week, 
And she worked much more faster. So she works hard. She takes every minute to work. She doesn't talk on the phone. And she, she works on the internet only for her purposes, without any social networks, without Facebook, without calls. <laughs> So don't you have such workers? No. They're chatting on Facebook and social networks. So for you, for your businessmen, it's hard to find normal, hardworking people. So I teach them, but when the whole society and whole companies just do not give the example, and all people work like this. So. When you ask them to work hard and do something in some terms, they just shocked. So, and when you say something strictly, you ask a person to work hard so they can just go away and he will work for you. So this girl works only two days a week and she does such a great job. I'm, I admire her. I just go near her workplace. All the other people go for their, have their dinner and lunch, but she works. So when they have dinner or lunch, or they just go for a short walk. So any time of any kind of breaks. But she's working, working, and working. I don't know how, but one American bank in Ukraine here heard about this girl and how hard she works. And now she was offered, she was offered a $5,000 in Ukraine, which you can hardly meet in Ukraine. Now, now she's a vice president of a city bank. <laughs> so her salary is a car every month. <laughs> that is why that's because she is a girl who heart hard worker, who is a hard worker without any connections. He has no f father and mother is an old, but she's a workaholic. She, she knows English, she speaks English well, she does her job really well. Everyone is searching for such workers. And she says, well, I don't want to work there faster but I told her to do, and she did that brilliantly. Her personal qualities are really well. When we create another philosophy of our society, when you need to rely on your personal qualities, you need to be involved in self-education. So there won't be anything changing until we do something until we start on hard work. So, why people work, work back in Ukraine depends a lot on our society. So, I work in a company where where good professionals are needed. So there are different systems to hire specialists. So there are companies which do not allow you as a worker to chat in the contact 
or a Facebook, so you need to work hard. So, the world of business needs good specialists, professionals. And if you are a good professional specialist in any sphere, you will have a lot of clients, you will be a successful. And in our company, we do not work with some companies that offer us bad products of, of low quality. So, two times I made an experiment. Once I called to the internet shop and I offered to work as a consultant and I and I offered a price, so I was offered to come to an interview. But I didn't go to the interview because, because I was working in a company and I could have an extra income out of my company and I didn't think it was good. So, but we have, we had a cooperation with this online shop and we made a video for them some kind of commercial so we made uh, this clip in four hours and we just gave it to them i called them and i offered them just to try and make it for them as people say a millionaire who made himself so a person who makes himself who creates himself he will definitely say that there are no problems for you if you made yourself, you are just you are sure that everything is possible for you. When someone says, "Well, I don't have any connections or something, some people who, who can help me," that shows that this person is not enough developed. His personality is not deep enough and is not developed enough. He is far from self-education. He doesn't invest in self-education. So the one who always in, is involved in self-education will reach any goal in his life. So Jesus said, if you have where to build or if you have something, there will be more added to you. But if you have something, and you do not do anything with this. If you have some gifts, if you have some abilities, and you do not do any, you don't do anything with them. So you just lose them, and they will be taken away from you. So when I when I see that there are some things that I'm good at, it is my source, the source for future development, the thing that I can create and turn to something bigger. So, when you, when you said about when we have not faith, so we degrade, we lose strength. And I think that our church, thank to pastor, our church, I attend to different, I attend different churches, but I, I haven't see, seen that in any church. In, in, there is no church where you can hear so you will be a prime minister you will you will become successful you can do more and you can go in different spheres of social life so I haven't heard that before in any church so we started to change our point of view and we started to believe that we can we can change something here in our country in our society so the problem is that we didn't believe in that so 
when you pastor told us many years, for many years, you told us, go, you can do this, you can earn millions, you can be a politician. So, but we didn't believe that completely. And we said, well, but this is Ukraine, what can we do? So how? But you just, it was just saying, yes, I will, but then your faith disappeared, so. We didn't believe completely that I, that we can, that I can. So, but if this person not only was listening to me, but if he was involved in self-education, if he developed his, himself, that would just bring him to some conclusions and thoughts that he will do that. That would just make him sure he will do anything. She can do anything. It is impossible that you can do something. Everything is possible for you. So, if I believe I do that, I'm overcoming troubles and problems, if I believe. So, we don't need also to listen to the opinion of others, but you need to focus on your goal. I think that sometimes it's our excuse that we don't reach some goals. It's our being lazy and the absence of responsibility for our life. We blame economical crisis and not problems. And we blame everyone and everything in our failures. So it, it goes around and around. So if a person is, is involved in self-education, does he has any assurance so I would like to share this example about which you taught on the retreat. So when a person invests in himself and he offers some product, he works on that product and he knows how to sell that product. And how much he invests in himself, how much a person invests in himself and he develops his knowledge, his skills, and he grows, then your price becomes higher and higher. It grows as well because you en enrich your personality. Your outlook becomes wider. Your faith becomes stronger. And you understand the focus. And you keep on following your focus and your goals in life. So, this lady is a world champion in powerlifting. So, she will share something with us now. Hello everyone, my name is Tatiana. I would like to share something with you. I would like to say from a position of a person who involved in self-education for many years and before I came to church, I started to develop myself and I think at the beginning it should be your self-made decision. So. In Ukraine, there are lots of problems. And so what will you say for us? What will I say when I was working? I started to work when it was just like the bad situation at my work. And when I was working two years, I may do everything, even when the people can do this at all. I was just like great person at my work. And when I wanted to go, then don't let me go and ask me to stay. But I 
understood that I should go, and um, that's why so I started to uh, make a magazine, and th that was from God, that was a wish from God, and when it, when it came, I just uh, started to make a suffocation. When I don't understand something, I started to listen to it a lot of time. I started to listen again and again, and I was just reading lots of the books to the pastor, and from the sub-education I got a lot of the things that gave me the power, great power and great wish to do something. Uh, because of self-education, uh, my person becomes just like greater, and my wisdom uh, uh, in a church, we became just that we use only the words from the Bible, but that's not enough. We should start and believe, and that's all we come from the Bible, from praying, and from suffering education to become a, a great person. And I just understood that I could be a good pastor, and I start to love the Bible, but I just guess that that's not enough to be only the great pastor if I'm not a good person and if I don't have much money. So uh, I just started to suppose that I should be good in uh, financial sphere too, and I should do something. Only being in church, that's nothing. Only just have a ministry, that's nothing if you are poor. Um, that wasn't enough money at my work for Levin. Um, my magazine, See the World, in Ukraine. First it was just like typing, only in the, only in the internet. Uh, I made my site and God opened my ways, uh, my views, uh, my opportunities, God helps me everywhere and I just make, um, can, can make an influence. Uh, I may talk to people, uh, I may make a video, I want to be a public person. Oh, I was reading to Joyce Meyer and I was impressed because she had so many people in her ministry. I'm great that I'm not a pastor in a small city, that I'm in a cave. I want to listen to people and I, and I really want to help all of them. I want them, them to change their lives, to think about their lives, uh, to get that they may be rich, may be smart, may have everything that they want to have. Uh, I was working with uh, 52 books. Every day I listen in to the new information, I'm listening to the audio books. I love so much Brian Tracy and I love to listen to him not only the pastor Sunday. I love the business sphere and I'm listening to the Robert Kiyosaki and uh, Trump. I want to become a millionaire, a billionaire, you know, and I just have guessed that I should listen to such kind of a people. And but when everyone says that I should just like go down and that I can't do anything, everyone is saying no to me, I know that that's not true, because deep inside I feel not this way. I should learn something about this and get something, some knowledge from God. Uh, you know, sometimes when people say no to you, it seems that that's from the specialized to you, but that's not true. If you are smart inside, if you really believe in yourself, and if you really know and feel like you can do this, if you learn about this question, all the information that is possible, 
And pastor say, yeah, if you really love what you do and if you really see results, the great results, and you see that it works, to work harder and harder, suffer education much better and better, that just like every day you are searching um, in your imagination lots of the people that they are saved, that they are, that they are great and they live great life. You have an aim, you have a goal, you start to have opportunities. So, uh, only software education, that's the way. Every day to do something, every day to start learning. It was the leadership ministry, and for example, if you have a headache, you just use something to get, uh, to get better. If you feel emptiness deep inside and you don't know anything, so you should go and you should learn about this uh, term something. If you feel depressed, it's just like uh, you should learn something new. You don't have to feel depressed. Uh, some years ago, I was talking to Pastor that if he wants me to do something, I will do. And I will learn everywhere. I will come everywhere when, where he wants me to come and go and do what he will tell me to do. Um, for this time, I don't care what to do. You should uh, have a name, and you will have anything if you have a, a name. What is important too, that uh, software education is good, but it's better to walk about uh, yourself. Your attitude. Software education, your attitude. Your self-concept. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't need any theory, any practice, because first step, I should learn this by myself. I should understand this deep inside in my mind, into my inner world, and I should just like think how to describe this. When you start to work by yourself, seriously about this question, you start to love people much more. So I'm sorry, that's my uh, term, and I can tell much more about this term, but I don't have the time. Hello, my name is Zamira. I'm a teacher, and I'm a writer. So, with Pastor, we uh, wrote two books. Many people ask me, how did you get to Kyiv? And uh, how could you write seven books? That's not a miracle. It was hard. That's the result of my process. That's the result of software education. Uh, through five years, I was studying and I was translated the books. I have four kids. And uh, in Asia, um, when you have four kids, uh, I had an office. I was translated the books from my own language to Ukrainian. I had a lot of I had a lot of activities and I had to combine them all. So but I should say that it is possible if you have a clear goal, if you are focused on your goal and if you are involved in self-education, you can do that. So for the first time, 
Firstly, I didn't have this understanding and this concept of the borders of self-education. And I was reading books so other people could say how smart I am and that I can say something and just just show off. But I had no life practice. I had only theory in my life. And I understood that self-education is important. So this is thanks to work with Pastor Sunday because before I wasn't really uh, involved in self-education. I was just just getting the theory, but I, I didn't get any practical knowledge and practice. Self-education is not just about getting knowledge, more and more knowledge, reading a lot of books, but it's, it's about your practice, about your clear goal and you're moving toward this goal and you know this from A to Z what you need to do, how you need to go and how you need to just to use this knowledge into this practice on your way to your goal. So I started to work in that direction and as a result I became a writer. So you know the process of writing books for me is a process of self-education now. If, if I was just spending two hours for my self-education process, now I have more than eight hours for this to get these topics and get deeper knowledge about particular topics which are important for me. So my father is, a, is an example for me. He moved to Ukraine years ago to just to gain more practical skills and knowledge. And he was a farmer, and so he got more and more knowledge in this particular sphere. And now he's very successful at this. He has his own company his grocery company and he is the owner of, owner of this company it is one of the most successful in Ukraine now so, he paid the price and he just was going through a lot of difficulties a lot of troubles on his way but and many people think that Many people think that my father is just lucky and it's just about the first thing we were talking about, about people who don't have any faith and they do not have faith in their good qualities that they can develop and they don't believe that they may have these results if they work, work on their qualities, improving them, make them stronger, make them higher, make them more developed. So, my, my father, during 30 years, raised five companies farm in farming sphere, and so that proves that any quality you have, you may develop to such extent that it will be your, um, your professional skill and that will help you in life and make you successful in any sphere. So you may set any goal before you and you can reach it if you work hard in this direction. So many people do not... Do not uh, uh, do not consider self-education important just because of the limits in their understanding, limits and stereotypes in their mind. They don't want to pay the price, to pay the price of their time because it is a hard work. And first of all, you need to work hard on yourself to get something done to reach your goals. So we need to change our mind. We need just to change the things that were sitting in our heads for years just to go on the next level.
победить себя. We need то есть, to... вот эту инертность мышления победить. We need to learn to think widely, to widen our personality, to acquire new knowledge every day, just to break our laziness and invest in ourselves. So you'll see that with time, what you invested in yourself will just bring more to you will bring more results. So we are writing books with Pastor and it's, it's not just because. So when I was all alone in my office, sitting in my office and translating, I was... Uh, I knew the process of writing books in all the details. So with time, I understood that these skills just were necessary for me to